Hey fellow designers, welcome to the channel. Let's design a Hollywood level movie poster today that looks like this. We will use Leonardo AI to generate the poster art and Figma to design the final poster. Figma might sound new to you for poster, but I assure you, it's a fun and easy design tool to use. And the best part is that it is free. We are here in Leonardo AI. To create AI images, you can click this button at the top right corner or the image generation tab. If you are confused seeing this new updated interface, don't worry, we can easily switch back to the old one. At the top right, we just need to click the legacy mode to toggle and here we go back to the old interface. If you want to know how all the settings for image generation works, let me know in the comments and I will make a detailed video explaining them. Now to create our poster art, I will use this prompt. Black and white portrait of a girl with a cybernetic eye implant. Futuristic. 16K. I want a cyberpunk inspired look as I will be designing a sci-fi movie poster. For the fine-tuned model, I will be using the Leonardo Lightning Excel model. There won't be any negative prompts. I will turn on some elements though. You can think of elements as styles that you can add to influence your art generation. For this particular image, I will use the glitch art element which will give us the RGB distortion effect. Then I will select the cybertech element which will add a cyberpunk inspired environment and objects to the image. Lastly, I will add CGI noir which will make the image dark. The weight of the elements will decide how much of the style will be applied in the image. The higher it is, the higher the effect or style. I will use these settings. I will select two images for generation and also turn on alchemy. For image dimensions, I will select the 768 by 10, 24 or 3 for aspect ratio. Let's hit generate and see what we get. I'm not happy with the generation, so I will tweak the settings of the elements and generate again till I get something I'm happy with. Well, this will work for the poster design. Let's go ahead and download this. Now let's go to Figma to design the movie poster. At figma.com, you can create an account if you don't have one. Once you sign in, you will be taken to this screen. Click on add design file to start creating. Here I am in the Figma editor. It might look a little overwhelming at first, but trust me, as you keep using it, you will find it a lot easy to use. I will create a Figma beginner tutorial very soon. Now you need to press F or select the frame tool from the top. Click anywhere on the middle and you will see a white square appear. This will be the canvas on which you will design the poster. This is very small so we will adjust the size. You can drag from the sides to adjust the width and height of the frame or use the properties section. In the properties, I will set the size of the canvas to 1482 by 1976. To give a name to the frame, you can go to the layers section on your left and double click on frame 1 or you can double click on frame 1 here itself. Give it a name and hit enter. Now you can drag and drop the image you have generated and downloaded from Leonardo into the frame or select the frame. Then copy the image from your downloads folder and paste it in the frame easily. Hold Alt or Option and drag to fit the image evenly into the frame. Click on the image layer from the left to select the image. Then on the right underneath fill, click on the image icon to open up the image settings. Here you can adjust different settings like exposure and contrast. I will adjust some settings to fit the look I want. Now press T or Select the text tool and click it on the frame to add text to your design. Let's add the title for the poster. Type what you want to add. I will add Cyborg Dreams. 
On the right, you can see the text properties. I will increase the font size to 120. You can hold and drag the text to align it. When the orange line appears, it means the text is aligned horizontally. Or you can use the alignment options at the top to align text too. Let's change the font. There are hundreds of fonts to choose from and you can also add your fonts. I will use the font Rajdani. I will also increase the size to 140. I want gap between each letter so I will go to letter spacing and increase it to say 20%. Let's see how it looks. The font color is kind of blending with the image so I will go ahead and adjust the image settings again. Decreasing the exposure and shadows will bring in some more contrast. I will also change the letter spacing to 30% and decrease the font size to 120. This looks perfect. Let's add more style to the title. Double click on it and select the first word. From the text properties, I will change the font style to bold. I will do the same with the second word and change the style to medium. Looks great! Our title is done. Now let's add the credits for the film. I will add the text. I will reset the letter spacing and change the font size to 40. Let's add the same style we added to the title by making one word thicker than, than the other to add contrast. I will then add the director's credit and apply the previous style. Let's arrange the text. I think I will change the font to something else. This looks great. Now let's go ahead and add all the other credits. I will hold Option or Alt and drag the director's credit or you can copy and paste it. I will edit it. Repeat this step to add the second or third credit. Now hold shift and select the text in a line which will select all the layers. We will add auto layout to it from right which will arrange the text layers into a frame. In the auto layout properties, you can see various settings like alignment which we will get into later videos. For this design, we will use the horizontal gap settings. You can see what this does. Let's use a gap of 16. Again, select the text tool and add the next line of credits. We will add auto layout to it too. With the same settings like the previous one, we will repeat this till we have all of our credits. Now, once we have all the credits, we will hold shift and select the text frames and add auto layout and give them a uniform gap of 16 and align them horizontally. We will do the same with the title and the other credits. On the top, let's add the casting credits, hold alt or option to copy them. We will also change the font style to medium and size to 50. Hold shift and select all the casting credits and add auto layout. We will add a gap of 40 and align it accordingly. And there you have it. Our movie poster is ready. We can export it by clicking the export button on the bottom right of the properties panel. You can also change the format and upscale the image if you want.
If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and do subscribe. It means a lot for a small channel like us. Have a great day.